Welcome back guys, another beautiful Monday. As you can see, it's just gorgeous out here. But we put on like 13 new cars. Well, old school cars. We're gonna be showing those to you throughout the video. That way you know what we got in this week and every week from now on. So every Monday you'll see a lot walk. Sit back, relax. It's about that time. She. Guys, if you're just now tuning in, this is the first time you've ever seen this video, go to maplemotors.com. You can learn a bit of information about us. We are a family business of 40 years. We do have financing and shipping available, and yes, it's possible to ship these to your front door. With that being said, what's on the window is the price plus tax. And we'll get started here. Again, we did pick up, I don't know, 10, 13 cars, something like that. I have test drive videos on every single one on the lot. Pointing out the flaws for you, I like to pick that out because you can see all the good. You can see there is a lot of new rides. It's been pretty fun test driving these. You can check those videos out in our playlist below. Car is currently available and I update that every Monday. Okay guys, right here under the sign, 1965 Ford Mustang Fastback. This was priced $42.9. Coming on over this way, a 1970 Ford Mustang Fastback. This one's 41 thousand dollars less than the red one. Sticker kit. That's all that is, just a sticker kit. Next to that one, what about a 65 convertible Mustang? This one's priced at 32 dollars And a 66 Ford Mustang, also priced 32.9. We go through a lot of Mustangs here. These are all fairly new to the lot. Right beside that, a 1969 Pontiac Firebird with a vinyl top, 27.9. Sixty-eight Ford Mustang at 17.9. Right next to that, an 89 Fox Body convertible at 13.9. This one here's got custom interior, five speed transmission, two tone paint job. The Firebird and the Mustang line here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. We just need one more Mustang so we can make a complete line. Let's go over to the mid section of the lot and see what else we got. Coming off to the side over here. Man, one of my favorite cars from the update. As I'm walking around the lot, be thinking which one is your favorite? You can leave that below in the comments and I'll check it out. I try to read every single comment and get back to everyone that posts. But I do get a lot of comments because I control all the social medias here. If it doesn't say Maple Motors on the uh, profile, then it's not official here. This one is a 2002 GMC Sonoma with the Air Ride. It's custom truck, custom paint, custom wheels. Priced at 10 dollars Next to that, 1965 Chevy El Camino. Of course, this one's priced at $15.9. We just got an empty spot here. I don't know what was here. 
Oh, I do. I can't tell you. There's one we held back this week. This one is a 1963 uh, Chevy Biscayne. It's got the two-tone paint job. Priced at $17.9. It's like a primer on the bottom. I think it sets it off, really. Exhaust is coming out right here. Well, it's capped off right there. I guess you could always open her up. There's another spot back here for it. Pretty cool, ain't it? Next to that, 1970 Monte Carlo. This one's priced 19.9. The 75 Impala. We've had this one quite a while. That's priced 17.9. Price drops. And of course, every 60 days, the price drops, so keep that one in mind. Next to that, 1967 Dodge D100. Hemi truck at 24.9. This is all jacked up. All right, guys. Oh man, I gotta pick up some trash. We had a storm come through yesterday. Let's head over into the showroom. I got a few more cars to uh, look over out here. Quite a few. And I'll be right back. Welcome to Jim Fights Hot Wheels room. This is a uh, whole entire room of collectibles here. You can find all the information about this room on Jim Fights Hot Wheels channel here on YouTube. TikTok, Instagram, go hit subscribe and share her videos. It's my sister that's in there. What we're gonna start doing is picking out one random car, hitting it, and then you'll see, boom. So this one here is $15 and it's a 1979 Chevy Silverado. It's a fleet side, the die cast. We're gonna start doing this every single video, just checking something out for a second. And you can also uh, see the exact same representation on TikTok. Let's get back out there on the lot. There's Pops himself. What's up, Pops? Hello. Hello. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. He's getting ready to organize some more collectibles. All right. Running back out here. Oh, did I mention if you need some dollar cars, just a little bit of a lineup. In the showroom here, 1966 Chevy Chevelle. This one's a big block four-speed car, priced at 47.9. Okay, right here in the middle of the showroom is a 1934 Chevy sedan in purple. We have had this one before. I just went ahead and reposted the video. It's the same exact car as before. So go check it out and let me know what you think. The Corvette up front is not for sale. It's a personal ride. It just got brought in for a wheel swap. But look at this. 67 Camaro. She's set up for the strip. Custom paint job. Custom interior. Very, very 80s, late 80s, 90s. Look to it. Under pressure, I guess, is her name. And look at this motor. I definitely won't be driving this one down the road. It sounds like a rocket ship when we start it. Um, so yeah, there will be a walk around on it, but I'll be in jail if I take that down the road. <laughs> so we're going to come on back here. 1941, a Willys Coupe priced at 44.9. Custom interior there. I don't even know if I mentioned the price on this one. I may have to find it. I think it's on the website. So no, it's on there. 39.9 how much this one is all right let's get back out on the lot and see what else there is may have seen this one before got the old suburban back we do a lot of uh repeat trading this one's a 1992 gmc suburban priced at 11.9 coming up right in front of the showroom is a 1971 Chevy C10 pickup truck. We got it priced at $29.9. This is a huge sold bay. And I'll be showing you some of the cars that passed through last week that never made the website. As you can see, there's a lot. 
you know, a good 10 to 15% of our inventory sells before I can list it. People walk in from all over the country every single day. I'm talking all over, you'd be surprised, just to walk the lot. But yeah, when they come in, a lot of times they'll come in with cash or a cashier's check and they'll pick up some of the new stuff before we can list it. But I'll show you this at the end of the video, so stick around. Okay, we're getting ready to walk in front of the office here. Before we do so, we'll look at these two trucks. We got a 1972 GMC. It's got a Chevrolet front end, it's got a Chevrolet tailgate, but this is a GMC truck, and it's priced at $20,900. Next to that is a 2008 Chevy Crew Cab. About 10 years ago, I owned this truck, but it got traded back in from the same customer that's had it for 10, well, almost 10 years. But it's a 1500 4x4 priced at 10 9 Oh, and you know, we're here at the Camaro. 1967 Chevrolet Camaro. She's in pretty good shape, runs and drives awesome. Powerful motor with the correct paint scheme here at 35.9. Of course this is not a real SS car it is badged up as an SS we didn't do it customers have before in the past and there's tons of them tons of clones that is what about the old the, uh, old flat black with the pin striping 65 c10 custom wheels I love the wheels on this one actually I think they look pretty good custom interior Let's open her up and look in there. Can we? No, oh, they locked it. So you could see the interior on this one is beautiful. Got the wood bed, fuel cell in the bed. Priced at $22.9. She's priced to sell. Test drive video is out, so you can watch it. Back to 55 in the two door Chevy sitting here. This one's $30,900. She's got a hot rod motor in it, two-tone paint job, two-tone interior. Fifty-six right next to it. What's well, cool is we got fifty-five, fifty-six, and a fifty-seven all right next to each other. This one's a Bel Air model, priced at twenty-nine nine. Paint job is a little weak on it. Of course, we'll be going over all that throughout the videos. I do all the test drives here for you. And then the 57. One of the biggest, biggest differences in these three is the back end. You can see all the tail lights are different for one, 57s. Got these long fins and they also have the gas cap behind this one. The 56s, you can actually twist this right here and there's the gas cap. And the 55 is just kind of out there on the side. Not in the tail. Line. That's the biggest difference. That being said, the 57 is on the end. It's a 150 car priced at 36.9. Okay, guys, got a front row to walk across. And it's a whole lot of new. New inventory stretched all the way across here. Starting with this one, I haven't made the test drive on, but tell me something. The hood is as long as the bed. Isn't that crazy? 1972 Ford Ranchero. This one's 16.9. I have a story my grandfather, not the one here, my other one used to race flat track, uh, Charlie Southgate. If anybody knows that name, comment below that is my grandfather that did flat tracking for triumph and he said he bought one of these new just to haul the bikes to the track he's telling me these big stories about jumping railroad tracks and all this stuff on accident pretty interesting right next to that one a 1970 buick skylark this one's in green priced at 25.9 Okay, another Chevelle here. This one's new. 
1970 Chevelle priced at 34.9. White interior, white stripes, blue paint job. And they didn't make it a SS clone, did they? <laughs> Next to that, 1971 Chevelle convertible. This one's gonna be a little higher. Drop top, price goes up, 49.9. It's just a really nice car overall. Got nice interior. Look at all the paperwork sitting in the seat. The five-speed transmission. Okay, you Nova fans, we got another one. Actually, we're going to have a few Novas coming in here soon, so stick around for that. This one is a 1972 Chevy Nova priced at $29.9. What about the wagon? We hardly ever get these and I love it. 1960 station wagon. This one's 35.9. Traffic is heavy today. It's just roaring behind me. This thing is sick, guys. Okay. I do believe we walked the whole lot. Now it's crunch time. What is your favorite car? I love the Camaro. But honestly, you're going to laugh. I'm torn. I like the station wagon. I, I don't know. <laughs> There's three cars on the lot that I, I like a lot. And it's this one. That one. And you know, I'm a sucker for Chevelles too. Especially in blue like this. White's my favorite color. And look at the interior. I don't mind the love seat. And it's a 70 which is my favorite year of Chevelle. And the reason I don't mind these is because my wife loves sitting next to me. We're just gonna walk around one more time. Again, go to maplemotors.com, finance and shipping, detailed pictures. We do update every single Monday with new rides. So you'll see all kinds of new inventory every Monday at 12 o'clock. I'll put out one of these test drive videos. I mean, not test drive. I'll put out test drive videos through all the cars, but one of these walk around videos of the car a lot every Monday. Rain or shine. Sometimes if it's just pouring, I'll wait and it'll take me a little longer. But usually by 12 to 2 o'clock, you'll have a walk around video. With that being said, if you come in, you see me doing a bunch of videos, I'm typically behind. And uh, of course, I'll try to talk to everyone that comes in and try not to be rude, but they do expect a job out of me. <laughs> okay. Choppers. What's going on? We got the military close to us. They always fly over and go drop people in the lake doing exercises. We made it back here. Look through the salt bay. 67 Camaro convertible. Just never made it to the site, guys. A blue interior. It sucks. I would love to video that one. 66 GTO. Of course, you've seen it before. Uh, what was this? A 77? No. I'm not correct. This was a 73. Man, way off. What's wrong with me? Coming on up. At the Blue Nova. You also got the 71 Buick Skylark there. The 67 Ford Mustang. I don't think there's enough cars up here, is there? <laughs> 2002 Camaro. I can't believe this guy hadn't picked this up yet. I'd be driving it. Remember the GTO we had? It sold pretty quick. Okay, this one was like a, a dang drag car. It's got nitrous and everything on it. It's 08 GT custom paint. I mean, it's slick paint job. What are they doing? Why is this this close? <laughs> Don't squeeze through there. 65 Impala. You've seen it. It's gone. 70 Nova. I'm sorry, guys. I, if I could have got these out before people seen them, but... 
there's just nowhere to hide these cars that we're getting in so as soon as they come in people are picking them out on the trailers um as you see there's people all over the lot right now just walking around and there's no telling where what state they came from and in the showroom there let's go on over there and peek around one more time we're just coming up across the showroom here we've got three four available everything else is not available that's why i'm not showing it um that's the 1941 wheelies as you can see not for sale on the window personal ride not for sale on the window that was a Barrett Jackson car at one time. It's we're just it's just a keeper, twin turbo Corvette. It's going home. It's set in the garage. Chevelle over there is just waiting to get picked up. It's already sold. Anything else? I really can't show you at the moment because it's sold too, just like this one. It's just awesome. Never. I mean, look at that. It's sweet. This drag car up here is crazy. with the custom paint job I love that one my daughter got me liking purple stuff for some reason I don't understand under pressure that's what I think every time I read that I'm sure that's what it means <laughs> it's like what in the world man Look at the heads on that thing. And again, that's a personal ride. Just don't even worry about calling about it. He's not going to sell it. He barely got the car back. He, did, he didn't expect to ever get this one back, and he was really upset when he sold it the first time. So this time, he said, I'm keeping it. Just look. It says, not for sale. It's not need for speed. <laughs> The old truck here. Yeah, a customer looking at the Mustang that we had in. It's probably going to be gone today. A suburban. It actually never left the lot. Okay, you guys, we're coming to the end of the video here. We got to walk across the front of the lot. If you don't mind, hit subscribe to share this video. There's cars everywhere today. We've been putting on more than normal. Uh, we usually get about 10 cars ready every week. Now we've been doing about 15. Uh, actually, this week we got 20 ready, but you've seen what's sold. It's not necessarily our fault. Just people walking in. You can do the same thing. Uh, Fridays is probably our busiest day. It looks like a carnival out here. Guys, I do appreciate you watching. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this video, and I'll see you in the next one. If you have any suggestions, let me know other than, hey, tell me all the motor sizes and pop the hood. You realize we go through a lot of cars here. Um, I usually have all that stuff decoded and everything before each and every test drive video. So if you want to find out more details, you can look at that on maplemotors.com. Later in the day, they'll have all the motors updated on there. And of course, on the test drive videos every single one of them i decode the motors and tell you what's going on trying to memorize all that each and every week with the amount of cars that we get in i kind of feel like i'd have to be a genius <laughs> i could write it all down all that stuff or i can make a video just like this and tell you everything i know in the test drives it seems to be working out pretty good if you want to see cars currently available it's in a playlist Look below in the description always. I fill that with useful information. And thank you guys. I'll stop rambling now. I'm going to go and uh, build some videos, wait for the rain to stop, and make some test drives. I'll see you later.